Hey everybody, it's Michael here from GetFitOver40.com with a product unboxing comparison slash review. We're gonna tackle all three in one here. A little while back, I reviewed the Hyper Ice Hypersphere, this guy right here. Nice little product, got it several years ago. It's still working great. Really nice product for just massaging out, you know, sore areas, kind of helping to rehab spots potentially. Very compact, very portable massage tool. And then along comes a product called the Rub Ball. Kind of looks the same. We're gonna get into this, we're gonna unbox it and everything so you can see them side by side, but they're literally very comparable products. And I'm gonna go over specifications and different things so you can kind of get an idea of how they actually compare almost side by side. Both of these companies actually sent me these products for review. The Hyper Ice Hypersphere a while back, probably two, three years ago now. And the Rub Ball just recently, it's new to the market. Hasn't been out as long as the Hyper Ice products. So before I get into the specifications and all that, let's open up the box and see what we have inside. Hopefully I have a bit of a charge so that I can compare like the vibration speed and all that kind of stuff. If not, I'm gonna have to pause this video, charge it up, kind of come back to at least that portion of the test or review. So let's open up the box here. I'm gonna move the Hyper Ice over and we're gonna get into this guy here. Always that beautiful plastic over top of the box. Packaging is nice. We'll take a look at it here real quick. Okay, so here's the front. We've got 2.5 hours of usage time. I got different specifications off the website, but okay, there was things I was looking for that I didn't even find on their website, but that are on the box. So we have 28 watt battery or power, that's the motor power, 2600 milliamp battery. I did find that, 2.5 hours of usage and the color, you have two different colors to choose from. So just different graphics on the box. Pretty much that's all the information, you know, you need to see in the front, is mostly on the front here. Let's open it up. It's got a little bit of a vacuum here going on. Crack this open. Okay, so there's like a little foam on the top here to keep it from, you know, getting all messed up or, you know, hitting the actual cardboard. Inside, we have a power adapter. Okay, pretty straightforward. Just a basic power adapter. Plug it into your wall, it's not USB or anything. And then we have this kind of foam in the box here. I don't know if there's a manual, yeah, there's a manual. So you have the rub ball manual, user manual. You can tell us how to use it, but I'm pretty sure it, it's, it works almost identically to the other one. You're gonna to wanna to charge it, of course, normally to full capacity the first time you use it. We're gonna circumvent that if we can for the purposes of this review. Let's get into the device and we're gonna see here how similar they are in size and everything really. So, okay, so yeah, they're really very similar. Let's just move the box out. By the way, you know, both of them have similar chargers. So that's the Hyper Ice charger. Uh, you know, I'm gonna have to say the Hyper Ice charger is a little bit more, it looks a little bit more, you know, robust, a little bigger. I don't know if it is better, but it just seems seems to be a little bit higher quality. Hard to tell, it's just a power adapter. You can replace those really easily. Probably just go down and get a generic one and just figure out how you're gonna do that. Go down to your local store if, if something were to happen to it. So you can see here, we have similar type of like, we've got these LEDs that go around. Then we have the power buttons right there. They have the same type of texturing, okay? They have similar back spots, which are actually kind of nice because they're kind of, like, if you put them here, they're gonna roll, right? So you got this little sort of flat spot on them that you can place them down. If you're gonna place them on a desk, they're not gonna roll off on you. So they both have that. They're really about the same size. They have different looks to them, but they're very, very similar. You know, they both have like a two piece design with screws going in them. They both feel about the same weight. I couldn't find the weight for the Hyper Ice, so we'll just assume it's about the same weight when I go over the specs. Um, I'm not gonna turn it on just yet. Let's do that. Let's go over the specs first. Okay, so price. High price is gonna be at least listed for the most part on their website at 149 US. The rub ball is listed at 129 US. Uh, in terms of size, they're both gonna be five inches in diameter, okay? In terms of color, you can get them both in black and both in a green. You have this sort of lime green with the hyper ice versus more of a turquoise green with the rub ball, but both of them also come in black. Both of them have a sort of rubberized textured outside. I'm gonna say that the rub ball 
I don't know, they're both pretty similar. It's like a hard rubber. It's not a soft rubber, but both of them feel about the same. In terms of weight, I did find specifications or weight specifications for the rub ball is 0.88 pounds. With the Hyper Ice, they said it was under three pounds. I guess it's for maybe transport or something or just for when you're trying to ship it, companies need to know. But I'm gonna say they're both pretty close. Maybe the rub ball is slightly heavier. I, you know, I'd have to weigh them, but they're really, really close. In terms of vibration speeds, I'm gonna try and test that out for you if the batteries are fully charged or at least partially charged. I know the Hyper Ice is fully charged. The rub ball, I don't know, we'll find out. But they both have three speeds. The rub ball has claimed on their website that they are the most powerful with a 4,200 RPM top speed. Now, I can't really tell you exactly how that compares with the Hyper Ice. Supposed to be more powerful, but the Hyper Ice is rated in Hertz. So it's 45, 68, and 92. So if anybody can figure out what 92 Hertz equivalates to RPM, then we can maybe try and figure that out. But when I do my test and just kind of hold them, hopefully I'll be able to tell which one has a bit more vibration speed. Power. The Hyper Ice has a 30 watt motor, while the Rub Ball has a 28 watt motor. So, you know, we're talking two watts difference, and sometimes the specifications aren't entirely accurate or true. It really depends. I think we'll find out when we do the actual vibration test. In terms of usage, Hypersphere claims about two hours of usage. I don't know if that's on the top speed or if that's considered, you know, on the, on the lowest speed. I'm not sure. The rub ball, they say two plus hours. I even saw on some websites, three hours, four hours worth of usage. Again, it probably depends on what speed you're using it at. Now in terms of warranty, the Hypersphere, you're gonna have a one year warranty from the manufacturer. Whereas the rub ball has a two year warranty with a 90 day money back guarantee. A little bit better there on that side, especially if you're not sure if you wanna use it or keep it. You'll probably have to pay for shipping to return it, but there is free shipping I know when they send it to you, you'll probably have to pay for the shipping back, I'm sure, if you don't want it. All right, number 10, TSA approval. I know for a fact that the Hyper Ice is TSA approved, so you can put this in your luggage, and that's a really cool thing with these guys. I have put the Hypersphere in my luggage and had no problems uh, bringing it. I think I've even put it in my carry-on, so I haven't had any problems, set off any alarms or anything like that. I can't imagine the Rub Ball would have any other issues or different issues. I'm I can't say for sure if it's TSA approved. I couldn't find any information on that. I just don't see why it wouldn't be, but it isn't claimed by the website or anywhere online that I could find. Okay, let's power them up. All right, let's try the hypersphere. Maybe I didn't hold it long enough. Okay, so the hypersphere, you have to hold it down a little bit longer. I don't know exactly what all these shiny buttons mean at this point. Probably maybe some of it has to do with battery charge. We have three green lights versus four. So maybe I'm gonna say that they're very similar in that they have a similar lighting structure. So I would say that four green lights would be full. Three green, green lights means probably mostly full. So we're gonna press the button once. Okay, we're gonna to have to hold them. <laughs> That's number one. Hopefully I can do this, okay. I got my ring on, so it's gonna vibrate kind of funny. They both feel pretty good. I'm gonna say that the Hyper Ice has a higher vibration speed on number one. Two. Feels about the same. Yeah, my hands are going numb. Um, very close. Okay. Let's do them one at a time, just so you can kind of hear it. A very slow pulse, much slower than the Hyper Ice. Okay, it just sort of, which may be good. Maybe you just want like a really light vibration on your first setting. Two, that's a nice setting, but it's sort of in the middle, I guess. Definitely feel it. So if I squeeze it, it definitely goes down and let's squeeze it. So I'm squeezing it to see how that motor works. You can see how it kind of goes down. Let's see how the hypersphere does in terms of the same testing. When you squeeze it, it does affect the motor and that's me simulating pushing it against something that you're trying to massage. OK, 
Okay, definitely. I'm gonna say the hypersphere feels stronger and doesn't, uh, it doesn't really, the vibration doesn't seem to be as affected when I squeeze it or push it against something. So this one, when you push it against, even on the slow speed, you can really feel it slowing down. You can see what I'm talking about? It seems to go down in vibration speed. So what are we at for, um, in terms of, now I haven't charged this up fully, okay? So what I'm gonna do is charge it up fully just to know for sure, because I can tell you beyond the shadow of a doubt that the hypersphere is stronger. It has a stronger vibration. It isn't as affected by me pushing it or pressing it or squeezing it nearly as much as the rub ball is. Um, the vibration goes down drastically a lot more when you when you pull the, or when you hold on to the rub ball or push it against or squeeze it. So I'm gonna test it, the rub ball, with um, full charge, I'll charge it up and see if that changes anything because there could be something going on. Maybe it needs to be fully charged. If I find that there's a drastic improvement in that testing that I was doing and that result, then I will let you know. Maybe I'll even redo this portion of the test to show you. If not, then it stands as it is and I'm not gonna change anything in this review because I don't need to. So again, you know, you have a better warranty here, a little cheaper price, free shipping. You can return it if you're not satisfied. You have better performance with the hypersphere for sure. It's going to massage a little deeper. It's going to vibrate a little harder. It's not going to be affected by pressure nearly as much. So there you go. There's my comparison unboxing review of the Hyper Ice Hypersphere versus the Rub Ball. I'll put links in the description if you're interested in buying either of these products. You can buy them directly from the company websites or at different places like Amazon and other retail outlets. All right, thanks for watching another GetFitOver40.com video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, take care.